Hello dears, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will try to learn the proof of the Euler theorem. So let's move on to the topic. Today we are going to discuss uh, one of the important theorem of homogeneity, that is Euler theorem. This theorem states that if a function z in the form of f of x comma y is a continuously differentiable function and it defines a homogeneity of degree n, then this function must satisfy this equation. That is, x times partial z by partial x plus y partial z by partial y equal to degree times the function. Okay, we are now trying to prove this theorem. So, it is given us that the function is homogeneous. So, we know by the definition of the homogeneity of a function, if a function is homogeneous, then each of its terms can be written in the form of y over x. So, for that purpose, we write that as z is equal to f of x comma y is homogeneous. of degree n. It is given to us that it is homogeneous of degree n. So, we consider z in the form of x to the power n and for function y upon x. Because it is n homogeneous function, homogeneous function, so each of its term can be written in the form of y over x. And this is what the term we have dragged out. We have taken out from the given function. That is, it defines that the function is homogeneous of degree n. And each of it, its term is written in the form of y over x. x. Now, in this equation, we need what? Partial z by partial x. So we will first find this one. After that, we will multiply this with x. And then you will go for this one to find partial z by partial y and will multiply with z. After finding those results, well, we will add them and we will get a relation like this, n times z. So, proceeding this partially differentiate. z with respect to x and y respectively. Okay, first we will differentiate this with respect to x, then with respect to y. And we know the result. Whenever we are differentiating a function with respect to x, we will treat y as a constant. And when we, are, we differentiate this function with respect to y, then we will treat x as a constant. Okay? Okay. So, so, first we will, find, we will like to find the uh, partial z by partial x. So, applying this to both sides, we have x to the power n, a function, each of its term in the form of y upon x. Now, we want to differentiate this. In this, uh, here we have two functions, x to the power n and f of y upon x. So, we can easily apply the product rule here. So, first function and to partial x, partial f by partial x plus the function y upon x and to partial by partial x of x to the power n. Now, this gives what? x to the power n and the derivative of this same denoted by a prime of y upon x. But then we must differentiate the function involved inside the function f, that is y upon x. Now, here we have f y upon x and 2. This derivative will bring the power into the coefficient and decrease the power by unity. So this is what the derivative of x to the power n. Now, n. How to differentiate? Now, how to differentiate this now? So we know that we are actually differentiating this with respect to x. 
So we will treat this Y as a constant. So we are taking out this Y from the delivered operator partial, F, partial by partial X and we will differentiate 1 upon X. Okay, so let's do this. We have partial Z by partial X equal to X to the power N F prime of Y upon X N2. Y with partial by partial X of 1 upon X plus this can be written as n times x to the power n minus 1 with f of y upon x. Okay, which rule we can apply here to find the derivative of this function? Say, taken out this y as a constant, and here we can apply the reciprocal rule of derivative. That is, we will put negative with the numerator and will square the denominator function. This is the derivative of the reciprocal function. Now this is n into x to the power n minus 1 into y upon x f of y upon x. Now further simplifying this, this gives what? y into x to the power n minus 2. Why? We have taken this x to the power n and x to the power 2 are the same. So we will add the exponent. So x will become x to the power n minus 2. And this will become a prime of y upon x plus n times x to the power n minus 1 and to f of y upon x. Okay, we have just find what this factor in the required result. Now what is next? We will multiply this relation with x to obtain this whole term. Okay. So multiplying this relation thrown by x, this will become partial z by partial x. This is equal to y and x to the power, this will become x n to the power x to the power n minus 1. Because x to the power 1 and x to the power n minus 2 bases are the same, power will add, it will be n minus 1. And along with this, a prime of y upon x plus n times x to the power what? It will become n. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And then f of y upon x. Say this is our first relation. We are now in the position to find this vector. Okay? So differentiating this relation z in, with respect to y by treating x as a constant vector. Okay. Constant factor. Okay, so partial z by partial y. This will be partial by partial y of x to the power n n to f of y upon x. Now we are actually uh, differentiating the function with respect to y. So we will take x as a constant. So take out this x to the power n as a common vector, as a constant vector, and this will become f of y upon x. Now the derivative of this is quite easy now. This will be f prime of y upon x n2 partial derivative of what? y upon x. So again x is a constant. So it will be taken out from it. It will become x to the power n minus 1. Why? Because if it is down we will take it into the numerator and that will become x to the power n minus 1. And we will have what f prime of y upon x along with partial by partial y of y. This vector become what? One. one. So we left with x to the power n minus one f prime of y upon x, and this is equal to one. So we left with the final step of this one now. What we will multiply this equation throughout by y. Okay. Now. Finally, multiply this relation with y. Okay, this will become y partial z by partial y, and in the right we will have y x to the power n minus one and to f prime of y upon x. Say this is our second relation. Now we have almost done because we have find this factor as well. So now we want to add 
these two relations, that is relation one and the relation two, to get our desired result. So by adding one and two, we have this will become x partial z by partial x plus y partial z by partial y. Now adding them we get the first relation is minus y times x to the power n minus 1 along with a prime of y upon x plus this is n times x to the power n minus x to the power n and f of y upon x plus adding this result with this first result we get y into x to the power n minus 1 f prime of y upon x f prime of y upon x now we can see that there are two terms which can cancel with each other this factor got cancelled with this one and we left with n times x to the power n along with y upon x now we see that this vector is nothing but our result that is what our original z we have supposed that z in the form of x to the power n into y f of y upon x so we have replaced this x to the power n f of y by x by z and this is what our required result that is x and to zx plus y and to zy and this word verify our either theorem hope you understand